super late to be starting the vlog, but I mean, YOLO, right? So we, we steady mobbing, we still steady vlogging. We daily vlogging, we steady grinding. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> best food forward meeting today. Didn't get an acai bowl either. It seems like not even a normal Monday. What's my hair doing? What the heck? Anyways, I'm going right now to a pretty cool event. Um, I don't really know what it's gonna exactly look like or be like, but I'm going to an OUAB sponsored event and they brought the two guys from Mythbusters here, Jamie Hyman or whatever and Adam Savage. So, should be pretty exciting. I'm crossing the street right now, hold on. So it should be awesome. I, mean, I saw Brain Candy Live and that was really cool. So I'm wondering if this will be similar. Obviously it's it's Jamie and not Michael Stevens, but still could be really cool. I don't know if there'll be live experience. I don't know, I don't know, I'm just excited. this kind of signal, not even necessarily an agreed upon sign language, but there was just, our brains ran along such similar tracks. Without ever speaking, I understood his plan, he understood my plan, and we safely moved this thing into position, a very complicated set of maneuvers, really safely. And that, that pleasurable internal discourse was a key part of the trust that kept us safe. But well, basically it sounds like you trust each other with your lives, yeah. but you don't trust each other to order sandwiches. <laughs> Totally true. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean... There they are. Wow, that's awesome. Keep it that, was, uh, that was so cool. It was like, it wasn't a live performance or anything like that. It was just like a keynote and they had a moderator. But what I learned and what was like, became apparent pretty early on in their talk was the like, I thought it was a rumor slash just like a joke, but Jamie and uh, Adam don't like each other like at all. And I guess it's just a function of them having worked together so closely for so many years. I was talking with my friend Elizabeth and she was giving me the scoop. Like, they asked for separate green rooms and they asked for the moderator to be between them so they didn't sit next to each other. It's no joke. They're, uh, <laughs> they're not good friends anymore. But nonetheless, they still had like a lot of like insight and sharing stories together that they were still cool with. Like, they're not hostile necessarily. And they still talk about that, that intrinsic trust that they had that built the show into what it is. How about your dog? Yeah. Yeah. These all your dogs? These two are mine. Hi, buddy. Hi. What are your names? Ethan. What's your name? Maya. Hi, buddy. Let's go, boy! Let's go! It goes in. <laughs> <laughs> If you were curious as to how doing your laundry at Ohio State works, basically you use like one of the facets of your dining plan. You can use like a credit card or debit card or something, or you can use the Buck ID cash that's on your meal plan Buck ID thing, and then you just load it up and do your thing. Yeah. There's been something going on um, that I haven't been sharing with you, 
that's been purposeful. One, I don't have to share everything in my life with you on this vlog. And number two, it is a very negative thing. And talking about it slash sharing with you just brings more attention to that negative thing and just feeds into that negative into that negativity, which is not something I want to do and is not worth my time. And it's not worth your time. But instead, um, and this kind of ties into what I want to talk about, I'm going to turn um, that negative thing indirectly into something that I care about and I am conscious of in my everyday life um, and how this can just be an example of that. So just bear with me through this like little thought experiment. So when you face an obstacle in, in your life, there are so many different ways that you can handle it. Um, but when it boils down, there are really only two options that you have. You can handle it in a positive way or you can handle it in a negative way. And when you choose the former of those two, that positive way, you set an example not only for those that are around you, but more importantly for yourself. I have found a lot of success from being able to look back on decisions that are similar to something that I'm in and being confident in myself knowing that taking the high road is the right thing to do. Especially when your decisions impact those around you. Taking the high road can foster a sense of community and positivity. You can be the root of change and optimism and overall positivity for your school, your workplace, or whatever your environment is, even your dorm room. Or you can take the negative side of things, which often means bringing others down to try to solve something. Now my opinion is that I'm going to say that is never the right thing to do and there is always an alternative. So for example, let's say there's a discussion going on and one person or one group of people, one side, will not budge at all. In fact, they're even turning like hostile and super argumentative rather than just being in discussion. For the life of you, you can't figure out why they are thinking that way or why they're doing what they're doing. But I guarantee you that 99% of those instances, it is not worth it to try to win that argument. In part because there will never be a winner in those types of scenarios, but more importantly because arguing and even fighting will only further divide both sides and polarize those sides. Rather than coming together for a solution, you're often just going to find the exact opposite and, and in doing so, often bring others down. In my life, I try to one, listen more than I talk. Uh, two, when I am talking, you often hear me say things like, now I may be wrong, but, and then insert my subjective argument for that topic or whatever. And number three, I just say like, all right, or cool, yep, and I finish the argument there, rather than drone on and on on something that will ultimately not be successful in solving a problem. Meeting somewhere in the middle is way more effective at solving a problem than you may realize. And for me, it just feels good knowing that I try my best to understand their side of things without being condescending or even mean by persisting through this fight or argument or whatever it may be. After hearing myself say all this, I don't want you to get the wrong impression. There's nothing like wrong with my roommate situation. I know I said like dorm room. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but I just want the takeaway, the main takeaway to be the fact that we're all part of Team Human. I wear, I wear it's not this gift shirt, but another gift shirt that's just Team Human. Um, and I, I really subscribe to that idea that we're all part of this team, the Team Human. Um, and that in solving problems, we should bring each other up rather than trying to put other people down. That was my main point in all of this. So on a very subtly connected point, I want to talk to you about what I'll be doing in the coming weeks. So finals are coming up. I have my first final on Thursday. I'm starting studying for it right now once I finish talking and yelling at my camera while these girls that are right over there stare at me and probably laugh at me. Um, and so here's the deal. So during finals last semester, I stopped vlogging um, for like a week maybe or so because I just needed to focus. Uh, and not because I didn't necessarily have two hours or like three hours of my day to film and edit a vlog, um, but more so the fact that it just like, even though like physically it only takes two or three hours to make one of these things, um, my mind is racing about the vlog for longer than that, and I need to be more focused on my school um, than the vlog for, for that period of time. So I haven't decided the day exactly, but sometime next week uh, it will be the last vlog for, for a few days um, so I can just focus on school. But nonetheless, like I said, I will have time that I could be editing, so here's what I'm going to do for you. 
Um, one of one person that I've become very fond of on YouTube, her name is Catherine. She her her YouTube is Catherine College. She's a YouTuber from Stanford. They have quarters at Stanford, so she'll do a quarter quarterly recap videos and like a montage of her quarter of like the spring quarter and the winter quarter and all that stuff. Because I still want to be making videos. I'm going to be editing a some a spring semester video montage thing. So my guess is that'll look like a mixture of like some of the funny parts that happen and like talking as well as like a bunch of the montages that I've made and especially now with all the drone shots that I have. Um, it's gonna be awesome. It's, it's gonna be cool, it's gonna be fun to edit and yeah, I'm just excited for it. As much as I like showing off you know the fun parts of my life and, and showing off editing, just as much as I like doing that, I also love sharing my perspective and when things are on my mind, um, I like to share those things and have a discussion about them. That kind of thing. I want to thank you for watching, and I don't know why you specifically are watching, but I want to know that I'm grateful for you for watching my video. For whatever reason that you watch some of my videos, one of my videos, um, that's awesome to me. Also, the feedback you guys have been giving me has been so awesome. Um, you guys are so nice, and I'm, I'm always so humbled to see that when you, you compliment certain things, and you guys are really liking the drone shots too, which is awesome. I am so grateful to have a platform like this where I'm able to share my ideas and perspectives as well as you know, a form of expression of mine and video, videography and that kind of thing, as well as sharing the journey and my story of traversing through college and whatever that means, <laughs> um, the ups and the downs. I'm just so grateful for it all. Once again, I want to thank you so much for watching, genuinely. I hope that you've enjoyed, and once I'm done with all this laundry, um, I'll see you tomorrow.